Guess what time it is? What's that? It's story time. <laughs> oh, boy. It's oh, story yeah. time. Oh, okay. man. I'm excited okay. for it. So, so for, uh, which way to do it? Uh, I'm, would you rather go, is there a story off the top of your mind or should I just go try to name drop and see what story comes first to your, to your mind of players? And, yeah. You know what? We'll keep it with basketball. So you may have to help me here, Pat. Okay. In 17 right. years, there's a lot of stories. I may have to have I, help. I can imagine. Uh, I mean, you said your first year was coming in the same year as Joe, Corey, and and T Green. So <laughs> what pops in the? I mean, everyone. I, I heard Joe Kim couldn't couldn't find couldn't. Yeah, maybe he didn't have a timer or or, or a clock. He just couldn't be on time for anything. Yeah, he actually, he actually embraced. I heard he actually embraced those extra workouts, getting up at five a.m. for a little bit or whatever you know, it was. The first, the first thing, Pat. And this won't this won't mean a lot to a lot of people that that haven't been here. But do you remember Chris Patrick? He was the he was the head trainer. He did all the drug testing. The older guy, CP called him CP. CP yes, yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah. he was here for like forty five years, and like he took no crap. <laughs> he took no crap from anyone, right? I'm sure he, you know, he, he just never messed around at physicals. Like I was saying earlier, we're at physicals and I'm sitting there and CP is standing next to me and, and Joe walks by. And this won't be as funny to people if you don't know him, but Joe walks by and puts his hand. He was eating potato chips and, <laughs> and Joe Kim stuck his hand in his potato chip bag. It took his last like five or five or six potato chips out of his bag. And uh, nobody, like nobody knew who Joe was. So like uh, CP was like, he was like losing his mind. Like this guy's just walking in and he steals my, he, st he steals my <laughs> Oh, he just hand. walks in and take the chips out of CP's bag? Yeah, he just walked right by him and put his hand and took his chips and just kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy, CP loses it on players. Like he like, <laughs> he didn't even say anything. He was so amazed that he did it that he didn't even say anything, but it was, that was that for me, that was hilarious. Uh, the wow. deal with him, the deal with him not being able to, uh, you know, late to class, you know, and coach would keep putting him on the treadmill and Joe, like basically, he basically said, he goes, Hey, if, if I, if you keep putting me on the treadmill for being late to class, I'm never going to go to class again. He goes, I, I, I love this. He goes, I can come in here. I can run three, four, five miles on a treadmill and not have to go to class. <laughs> he said, this, this is great. He said, it's the best thing that ever happened. So he had, Billy had to change the, uh, had to change the punishment on that one. Um, but there, there are just, there are just so many, uh, there are so many stories on Joe and, uh, you know, Bill, Billy D was a story in himself. And, um, you remember when him and Rosario went at it in the, uh, film room oh man yeah <laughs> yeah and and mike just walked out he might just walk yeah. out <laughs> <laughs> but dude uh, i heard i remember you telling me this a few years back that uh chandler parsons and nick Calathis were just absolutely insane in the athletic training room sometimes and that you actually had to kick them out they could not they were not allowed to be there at the same time yeah. Yep. First time in 27 years, Pat, I had to kick somebody out of the training room. They were, they were in the cold tank. Well, one of them was in a cold tank and one of them was getting in and they started splashing each other with water. They were acting oh like God. 12 years old. And one of them ended up taking a bucket, that, like a, a bucket that was sitting in there, filling it up all the way to the top with water and then threw it at the other one. I can't remember who did what, but there was water. There was water everywhere. So I actually, I actually lost my mind and <laughs> kicked them out. <laughs> Told them they weren't allowed to come back in there together. They had to, come, <laughs> they had to come in one at a time. Uh, it's the only time I ever did it. It was, it was that was pretty funny because people were losing their minds and those guys were they, they just joked around constantly. Chandler was still a goofball when I couldn't take him seriously. I had him for one year. I just could not yeah. take him seriously. Yeah, no, he it was it was. Uh, it was funny. It was funny. I tell you another one that was uh, uh, the greatest stories is when we we would win certain games to move on, and Billy would come in and try to dance, and you guys would all oh, make yeah. fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> you see some of those. You see some of those videos floating around out there on YouTube, and uh, 
that that's pretty good. That, no, that's pretty no good. rhythm at all. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was oh, um, Walter Hodge and Al. How were Walter and Al Horford? Because I know when they were together for a minute, uh, they were speaking Spanish to each other for a little bit, and then Coach. I know Coach Donovan was like, "Hey, when you're out here, on English yeah. only." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, I listened to your podcast with Walter was awesome too. That was another one that. That was great to hear how he's doing. But yeah, those guys talked, those guys talked in Spanish all the time. The one when uh, David Huertas was here, I don't know if he talked about David much, um, but they came in together, him and Walter, and neither one of those guys, when they first got here, they spoke very good English. Um, actually, Walter was great compared to, to David's English, but they would always, they would always be in here, either getting treatment or taping or out on the floor and they they would they would go nonstop in Spanish and uh, yeah everybody used to kind of get on them a little bit for that. Oh my but, gosh! Uh, but uh, yeah, they definitely uh, Billy definitely said that. You never knew if they were what they were saying. You know, they could. <laughs> who know, Who knows? Do you have a favorite? <laughs> That's hard. Uh, I mean, you've you've been there with the Gators basketball for seventeen seasons now. Um, do you have a, a, a top moment that you can, you know, you got to cut some net, nets down quite a few times. Is there, is there just a moment that just, you know, that pops into your mind for when I bring that up uh, of something that, that, I mean, obviously there's a lot of things that you're never going to forget, <laughs> um, but is there something that just stands out to you more than anything? Yeah. You know what, this, this, this is good, Pat, because we played in at, uh, the PK something the out there the 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 Nike deal out in Portland a couple of years ago, okay. and uh, I was talking to Bill Walton. You know Bill Walton on TV, the announcer played yeah. it. Yeah, crazy Bill. Crazy I asked. Him, I, lo I love the Celtics and love Larry Bird. So he was on that championship team with the Celtics, and he had won one earlier in his career. And I and I had asked him which one of those championships were most important to him. And he goes, uh, he goes, what's your name again? I go, Duke. He goes, Duke. He goes, do you have kids? And I said, yeah, I have three kids. He said, which one of those kids are the most important to you? And I said, they're all important to me. They're all, they're all my kids. I love them all the same. He said, well, that's how it is with championships. He said, they're all, they're all the best. There's none better than the other. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the, 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 the memories of winning here, we've, we've had a lot of it and uh and it's all been important and, and the funny thing is and it's, it's obviously this isn't funny but up until this year you you would have asked me like what championship or winning 30 in a row with you guys or what was most important and, and I really didn't have an answer but if you ask me my best memory now and my best win I've ever been a part of it is, is Keontae and and him being able to pull through what he pulled through um and, and being a part of that and being with him every day by far and away is the biggest, the biggest victory I've ever been a part of was what was him still being here. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, not, yeah. it's not even, it's not even close. It's not so. even close. It's not even right. close. That's right. Duke, uh, I gotta tell you, thank you so much for your time. Um, this is going to be, I hope it's going to be a two parter. Cause I, you know, we just <laughs> went pretty long, but I have no problem with that at all. Just getting a chance to catch up with you and, um, giving you, putting you on the spotlight because you deserve it. And um, I love you to death. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to have spent four years. Four years wasn't enough as a player uh, under your wings, but you already know, like I said, we're family. I can't wait to get a chance to come up there and hug you. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully things will be better. I can't actually hug you. I know, yeah. yeah I'd have to COVID test you first, Pat. Oh, man. Are you <laughs> are you doing it? Are you sticking the thing up my nose? <laughs> no, no. I'll get somebody over here for you. That might, that might change the dynamic of our relationship. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> no, Pat, man, it means a lot for, for me, even, even for you to ask me to be on here. And, uh, you know, you guys are special. Uh, love you guys. I, I do what I do because of you guys. And, and I really do what I do to see how you guys grow up and how successful you are and, and the, uh, the amount of years you got in front of you and the things you'll accomplish. And, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's been an honor for me to, to talk to you and, yeah. uh, to talk about some of the old guys and some stories. And, um, but I love you guys. You're the best.